hello friends welcome to our youtube channel so in this video we will see about the recrystallization okay so the nucleation and growth nucleation and growth of new strain free grains strain free equixed green so which forms which forms deformed green deformed green by the movement of high angle green boundary high angle green boundary so this is called the recrystallization process and uh, next what is the effect of recrystallization process on the uh, on the material so the size shape and dislocation density these all changes which is found during the recrystallization process so we will see is a graphical representation that the percentage of recrystallization versus time of annealing okay so the graph goes like this so here when the 50 percent grains has been changed or the 50 percent new strain free grains is formed so that is called the 50 percent recrystallization happened here okay and uh, this is the incubation period to start the recrystallization process okay yeah so according to the definition nucleation and growth of new strain free qx grain yeah new qx grain sorry this is uh, from deformed grain by the movement of high angle grain boundary so this process is called the recrystallization process and these three uh, factors which affected during the recrystallization process size shape and dislocation density of a material so now we will see about the recrystallization nuclei recrystallization nuclei okay so polygonization is most important step which already happened in the recovery uh, so that is important for the recrystallization as a subgrain movement polygonization is important as a subgrain colliances okay so the subgrain act as a nucleus for growth of recrystallization or to happen the recrystallization so it act as a uh, driving force here okay so the recrystallization nuclei forms in three models there are three models for this process first one is by the motion of by the motion of pre existing green boundaries green boundaries between neighboring green neighboring green second is by the motion of subgreen boundary by the motion of subgreen boundary third one is by coalescence of sub grains so these are the three models which are implied for the recrystallization 
nuclei to form the degree of nuclei okay now one uh, very famous term is recrystallization temperature so what is that so we will see here what is the recrystallization temperature so the temperature at which cold worked metal gets 50% recrystallized in 1 hour okay so this uh, factor time is important here so in 1 hour if the cold work metal is 50% recrystallized so that is called the recrystallization temperature so recrystallization temperature for any material is 0.3 to 0.5 of the melting point of that material okay so it is defined as a this way so okay so the effect of recrystallization temperature on uh, cold work okay recrystallization temperature versus cold work so basically uh, we should say that the effect of percentage of cold work on recrystallization temperature percentage of cold work so as the uh, percentage of cold work increases the recrystallization temperature for 99% pure aluminum is like this okay so this is the 99% or aluminum so the percentage of cold work increases recrystallization temperature decreases okay and uh, also for the uh, this uh, different uh, electric uh, electrolytic iron also the same curve will, will be followed like this so this is the effect of percentage of cold work on the recrystallization temperature as it increases the recrystallization temperature we can see downward trend so it decreases okay so in this video up to here only so we will uh, further discuss about the uh, factors affecting recrystallization temperature okay so kindly stay connected and uh, thank you so much for watching this video please like share subscribe our youtube channel